All right, welcome and thanks for joining me in today's video. We're going to take a look at Alcoa. I'm going to give you a chart insight and give you a few different perspectives. Keep in mind, none of these are recommendations to buy, sell or trade, just my own opinion. All right, so let's kick things off. And as we go, uh, Alcoa just recently released earnings. So uh, it crushes estimates, they say. And uh, yeah, so when you really look at just the jump in um, the numbers, it's fantastic. So you would think that the stock price would be reflected on that today as well, right? So today we're kind of getting a little bit of a boost. The stock went down, stock went up. It didn't really do much actually from a stock perspective. Uh, so you could see what happened. We bumped up and we sold off a little and back kind of. So we're kind of right where we opened. So Anyways, this stock is a kind of a slow mover. It doesn't move that quickly. I remember when this stock was like in the $10 range over here. I remember when it was cheap way over, uh, where is it? Over here in 2010 when I was looking at it, this thing was, was, you know, cheap in this level for many years. And I was watching this, uh, for quite a while. And now it's getting back into those levels. So we're going to analyze this a little bit more detail. Now, if you want to check out some of the things that, um, I'm doing as far as the charts go and you want to suggest, uh, any chart that you want reviewed, just go to our Discord channel. You could sign up and then you could go in and suggest or request different stocks yourself. Okay. So let's kick things off. I'm going to first start out with this company. We're going to go into the, let's go into even a longer time frame. Uh, let's go into the yearly because this stock back in the 60s, oh my goodness, it's been around for quite a while. So as you look at this, the stock uh, trended up very high um, in the 2000s, got into the highs of about 100, then we kind of topped out. So when you look at this uh, trend, uh, you know, it was pretty good. And then we kind of, you know, took a nosedive around 2005. And then we had some support around, uh, what does that look like, about 20? I don't have the, the line. Let's see here about 15 to 19 or 20 dollars it's kind of where it started to base uh over the last 10 years and as we start pushing into some higher prices you need to be watching out that hey are we getting a little stretched and maybe getting into the bottoms of the um uh, of the past 2000 2005 so this could act as a little bit of resistance so keep that in mind as we continue to look into the zoomed in version of the charts so let's go now into the monthly so here's kind of what we're watching. As we look into the monthly, you can see we're coming into a few swing points uh, right here. So watch this. Okay, so I've got a swing point here that if you take this across, you can see it's pushing higher. And look at that speed of that stock is moving. That is a little bit concerning uh, because when you move that quickly, you get these sells off, sell offs uh, fairly quickly. Now those sell offs can come at any time, uh, but they especially are more prone when you get some extended range like this. Now in part, when a stock gets overextended in one way, it usually snaps back the other. So we're actually kind of just going sideways when you think about it. But uh, the reality is, is it's just moving at an incredible speed. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little pullback at some point. I'm not saying right now, but at some point. So anyways, so we have one level of resistance. If you kind of draw this line further, look at this. We've got in the year 1999, we've got some resistance there. So you've got a lot of people basing at this price point. So this price point around 60 is really critical and important. So as you watch this, and if it breaks through your next level to watch as far as the long term goes is right around 100. If you're looking at the shorter term view, we're going to zoom into that right now here in just a second. One other point that if we do get a sell off, your support from a longer term perspective, you're looking at this line, which composes a handful of um, swing points and, and basing. And that'll be right around about that $16, $18 uh, range. So watch those levels. Okay. So as we get into the weekly chart and time frame, um, it's uh, for swing traders, it's looking fairly nice that A, it's trying to push and make a move higher. Again, my little bit of concern here is that right here, if this stock starts rolling over a little bit, that could be a problem. And you're starting to get into these levels of resistance right at the uh, weekly time frame. And that's a bit of a concern because if we get a little break above and then it just rolls over, that could be a little bit more nasty. Other than that, you've got this kind of wave pattern that continues to hold and it's moving at this angle between 2020, 2021. So for the last two years, it continues this pattern. And, you know, for multiple months, it could still continue moving in this way. But just be careful that once it starts breaking that pattern in the same way that a descending pattern can be broken. Um, if this starts breaking this pattern, watch out for a possible rollover, at least temporarily. OK, looking at the daily uh, price action, you can see right about 50, 51 dollar uh, level. 
we broke that resistance. Even though in the past we broke it here this one time and then re uh, rejected it, now we finally broke through it and we're starting to hold it. So right now, from a shorter term perspective, this stock looks pretty good. From a longer term perspective, you saw some of those levels of resistance that we could be getting into and that could put a little bit of weight and problems into the stock and that could be a little bit of trouble. So from a longer term perspective, I'd say, hmm, it's maybe one to just be a little more careful about. From a shorter term perspective, the trend seems to be moving well and continues to progress. So anyways, that's my thought here on this stock as far as the uh, the movement it goes and as far as how it's behaving. Again, it just depends if you're a longer term investor, shorter term and then how you wanna position that trade. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you wanna see uh, your own requests on here, then be sure to check out the Discord uh, channel and server, sign up, it's free. It's in the description here or on our website. Um, you can also submit suggestions on our uh, YouTube comments if you like and much more. Thanks again and I will see you on the next video.